The line in front of the community kitchen gets longer every day. Poverty is growing in London. It's a situation that keeps Taz Khan busy. He knows that without him and his privately run food bank, many Londoners would go hungry. Yeah, let's go in. People that are in work actively, both husband and wife, they are coming to access our services. And these are people we wouldn't normally associate. We've got pensioners that are coming. So we've got an increasing number of people that normally wouldn't come to places like this. Every week, Taz Khan provides food for 15,000 Londoners. The community kitchen volunteers give out 600 kilos of food per week at four distribution sites in North London. They're busier than ever. Dana Rusin is a single parent. She works half days in a department store. Almost every week she comes here to get food for herself, her two young sons and her mother. It will be very difficult, especially nowadays with the inflation and the prices uh, growing up, go up so much. No, very difficult, very difficult. I didn't know how I could manage. Farid Kuba also comes here almost every week and loads up. Anything that's left over, he shares it with others. I don't need all of that. I just go around and give it to other people who can't make it, who can't come here. So most of it I'll give away. Taz Khan works with supermarkets and suppliers. They donate food that can no longer be sold. It's distributed quickly, part of his commitment to zero waste, zero hunger. We thank the people that come and use our service because they're doing us a service. If they don't take the food that we offer, it's going to end up in landfill and, it, and it's going to damage the environment. The gap between rich and poor is particularly wide in the UK compared to other affluent countries. Now rising inflation and high energy costs are driving more and more people into poverty, especially families with children. The town of Hartlepool in northern England is no exception. Daniel Burnside lives here with his children. The self-employed painter wants to make sure Coben and Esme always have enough to eat. But that's easier said than done. Turning on the heat is a luxury these days. Um, it's been off for a couple of days. I've just had to, to just bear grim and wait for the next pay, payday or the next bit of cash I can find to, to put it on. Same with electric. I'll, I'll turn lights off on a night. If I'm not in the house, it's in darkness. With inflation at over 10%, Daniel Burnside has to scrimp and save wherever he can. Sometimes he has to go without a hot meal. There's choices we have to make now. Choices, things are getting sacrificed. You know, my kids will have burgers and chips. I might have a little bit. You know, it's just rationing a lot. Back in London, Taz Khan has also opened a cafe that serves inexpensive hot meals. It's run by volunteers. Rose and Simona come just about every day. Both have mental health problems. The meal that they share together here is often the only time they leave the house. It's ultra special, it's a safe environment, so all the staff are so friendly, and if you had a bad day, you would always find someone's face and they come and support you. If you're eating out in another place, you can't afford it, you can't afford to do that. So here it's affordable and it's, you've got everything and you stay as long as you want to stay. Taz Khan has invited London's mayor to gain support for his next venture. Training people who are out of work so they can find jobs in the food and restaurant industry. The mayor has promised to back the project. I think Taz is inspirational. Uh, the London Community Food Bank are literally making a massive difference, uh, sometimes between life and death, to vulnerable families across our city. And it's uh, a source of embarrassment to me that one of the richest countries in the world, one of the richest cities in the world, needs uh, facilities uh, like this, but the reality is we do it. Food insecurity is on the rise across the country. One in four children every single day in the UK is missing a meal. So that's one in four children that are missing a meal every single day. That's just where we are at right now. And what the future looks like, I don't know. Taz Khan has never been content to wait for others to take action. 
not even the government. And this winter, he's determined to help as many people as possible. <laughs> 